All right, Jules, San Jose came in here after playing last night in Winnipeg, really was able to quiet the crowd throughout most of the afternoon, really bog things down the neutral zone. How were they able to slow you guys? Yeah, like you said, I think they stopped us pretty well in the neutral zone. We, we knew that, and we were just trying to to get behind their D and, and create chances from there. I think we, we had our shots, but we just going to try to to make it hard for a goalie and get bodies in front and just trying to, to get some sticks in there and uh, I think we could have a kind of better result in, the, in this game. You guys got a great start from your penalty kill. Nearly two minutes of five on three for the Sharks and you guys were able to lock it down. You've been trending in the right direction. What has been working in that area? Yeah, we know we, we got to be better. We, we work a lot on it. We talk, uh, talk about it and uh, you know, I think just, just sometimes it's, it's confidence and uh, I think lately we have uh, just trying to put more pressure and we've been uh, successful so far. Your GM said he wanted to give you guys a new voice behind the bench. It was the debut in that regard for Dean Everson, former assistant coach. You guys know well. What was it like to have him calling the shots today? What type of adjustment was it for you guys as players? Yeah, it was just a few uh, adjustments in the, how, how we would play. And, uh, you know, it. Uh, hopefully we can, we can get a good practice tomorrow and then see see what happens from there. Appreciate your time. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Guys, that's Jewel Erickson. He had five shots on goal, four hits, and a part of a penalty kill that once again looks like it is certainly going in the right direction. The Wild will need that penalty kill and need some points as they head on the road to go to Canada. They play Vancouver and Edmonton next week.